Top story tonight at 6. Mayor Robert Rickard is proposing a property tax increase for residents in Macon Bit. More money from that tax increase is how he plans to balance the budget. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz explains why the county needs more money. Without a tax increase, the county would be $10 million short. Commissioners now have to study the mayor's proposal before they vote to decide if they will raise taxes for the second year in a row. And this, I think, is our most difficult year uh, to date. Mayor Robert Rickard says he had to make tough decisions when making the 2019 budget. We have revenue sources and we have expenditures. And it is up to us as a commission to get those two to match. The proposed $164 million budget includes about a million dollar cut to outside agencies, a 21% increase on property taxes, operating expense reductions, and cutting three days of paid holidays for county employees. This year we are asking uh, for an additional millage rate uh, that will bring it up to a total of 21.352 mills. Home. Mayor Rickard says although it's an increase, it's still less than what city taxpayers were paying in 2014. Even though it's uh, a little less than what it was in 2014 when you balance it out, uh, <clears throat> it's still something that's important to, to think about. Macon Bibb County resident Donald Druitt is hoping commissioners will fight to prevent an increase in property taxes. I would really like to see another proactive way of, uh, of our gaining our revenue in this county. And the mayor is right. There's a lot of great things happening in Bibb County, and folks shouldn't be alarmed that, uh, you know, we're, we're making great progress. We just got to really look at how we're, um, you know, are moving our revenue and our expenditures. Since consolidation in 2014, the county hasn't been able to balance its revenue and expenditures. Consolidation was a major step forward for our community and will ultimately be one of the best decisions we've ever made. Rickard says it takes time, but the county is making progress. For now, they'll have to get through passing another budget. We must have a balanced budget in place by June the 30th. That is our paramount duty uh, and charge. In Mayor Rickard's proposal, some outside agencies, including local museums and nonprofit organizations, received a 10 or 20 percent cut. He completely cut Navicent Health from receiving any funding in 2019. The hospital received $450,000 from the county last year. Michael? Mayor Rickard says the county is expected to have $4 million left in the general fund by the end of this fiscal year. He says that's not enough for the county to work with, especially if another natural disaster happens. The tropical storm armor costs the county $2 million.